Hi there, uh, Joe here from My Wonder UK, day 28 of the Southwest Coastal Path. I'm just the other side of Kovrak, and I think I've been spoiled for the sun for the last few days. Woke up this morning and we've got fog all the way around. You might just be able to see Kovrak in the background there. I blasted through there last night because it looked like it was going to rain. Managed to get a little spot here, levelish. Had some sleep, but I'm feeling battered. Yesterday, the last three, three and a half hours was tough. Like, really tough. I feel like I've been in a fight. So I tried to rest as much as I could last night, and we've got to go for it today. Like I say, I'm about a mile past Kovrak, and I've got to try and get to Helford today. And then I've got to try and negotiate the river when I do get to Helford. Uh, high tide's about one o'clock, so there's no way I'm going to be able to make that. I'm not sure about the butters. It's another thing I need to be checking today. It's one of those ball lake type things. Just not sure what time you're going to get there, how you're going to get there. And because it's still March, because it's the 28th, there's no regular ferry running. I'm not sure if there's a, a water taxi service or something like that, but I don't know how much that costs. The other option is to walk into the estuary, but that's another day's walking, and I need to be in Farmer for tomorrow night. So let's pack up the rest of this stuff and get going. There's the uh, start of Kovrag. Just about to see it, the fog's lifted a bit. I've looked at the weather forecast and it's fog this morning for the first hour, hour and a half, and then it's cloud all day. It's not too cold, I've had it colder, but it's not warm either. That's why you see we have my hat on and my wind cheater, but I've got to pack this lovely, damp, wet tent away. No, I shouldn't say that. It's not your fault, Lanchan. You've done me proud. If only could sit here and wait for a couple of hours and wait for it to dry out in the air. But maybe not because the sea's blowing that way. Mist and fog's coming that way. So let's get going. Let's make a start of day 28. As you drop down into Kovrak, you just literally follow the road round. Comes up some really nice houses a bit of a mixture like normal houses and holiday homes keep on walking right to the end and there's a big double black gate and there's a turning right just before there drop down into some woods uh, the path's a little bit rocky not too bad and then just keep on coming out until uh, you get to a beach like here looking at Kovrak now and this is where I was last night and this is where we're going so let's not hang about, let's get going. Once again, thanks for whoever put these rocks down here. Save you walking through the bog. They're not all the way through, but the paths, I understand what a massive job this must be. But appreciate it, cheers. Then there are bits that get really boggy. Following this beach along, which doesn't look very attractive in this light, but I'm sure it's very nice. But it's not one of them sandy coves, that's for sure. As you walk uh, across Lowland Point, right through to the other end, it's a mix between sort of flat grass, bits of bogs, and bits of stone. And then you get to the quarry, or I think it's um, Dishy's quarry at the moment. The little footpath between two hedgerows, but the sea is still just there. So we're still coast path walking. Good reefy clove. Where are all the seals gone? Nada. After Lowland Point, just keep uh, following around the old quarry, which to be honest with is grim. I don't suppose this weather helps, but that's industry, I guess. You come through to a, like a proper little beach, I guess. Got Reevy Cove. And then if you keep an eye out to the left, you see a footbridge. And that's where you need to be heading for. Then up a gray gravel path. And when I came through, there's cows on both sides of you in the field. I'll let you know if this is the right way or not, but that's the one I've chosen. 
over the footbridge and up the path between the houses the right way. Otherwise I wouldn't be here, would I? I'd still be looking around for a way out. But as you get through the village, just turn right and you're following like a single track road. I think there's a little, a couple of little cut off points where you cut the corner of the road. But besides that, I think, uh, well, I know we're going inland for a little bit now, so can't see the sea. Get in the village of uh, Horse House Stock, I'm gonna say. Uh, it's got like a little bay, lots of boats, cars down there. But your first option as you come out of there is a little bit of road work and you're walking up a 25 degree hill. You slaughter that and then you're actually just uh, walking down the road, which I started feeling a little bit disappointed because uh, Port Hallow is the halfway mark. But then a little redeeming feature I had a signpost for a mile and a half to uh, Porthallow, a mile to Porthallow. Ten minutes later, another sign, a mile to Porthallow. But now I've got this little re redeeming feature, easier to walk on, compact mud, going through this little bit of woodland shrubbery. Very nice. Bit more road work, I'm afraid. But it's easy going, I guess. But uh, it can't be far, I can smell alcohol. It's half past ten in the morning. Is it too early to have a pint? I'm in Poor Fellow, outside the Five Pilchers Inn. It's Monday the 28th of March. They don't open till Wednesday. Three sixty at four fellow. Stop at Fourth Alley for the photo opportunity, and we're on the way again. Some steps coming out of the village. And it's nice, easy to walk on path, but we'll see how that goes. Quick look back at Fourth Alley. We're on our way. That's all these Fourth Alley behind. We're back to what I call proper coast path road. Little track, following contour down the side of it. Straight forward easy going, but you can hear the sea and feel the wind coming off of it. I.e. coastal path. It's a nice little view. I was just thinking if you want to push through um, past Coverack, or well, that's the way you got it scheduled, from Coverack to Port Hallow, I would estimate. 2 hours 10, 2.20 and it does get better and I'm talking about from the the furthest, the closest side for Coverack so once you've gone through Coverack about 2.20 and get you to Poor Fellow and it's not like it was on the approach to, Corf uh, to Coravac so up to you just thought I'd let you know I've been a little mulling over in my mind thought I'd let you know now this is what the path is about there's the footpath bump, waves crashing, gnarly rocks in front of you, pathway going, nothing to stop you falling down. Live in. downhill for a while. Path from uh, Pulthalo switches from that little path 
on the other side looking down the sea, sort of I love, to this um, grassy verge. It's on a slope so it makes you feel like you're walking awkward but it's like walking on carpet compared to yesterday afternoon on the approach to Coverack. So it's all good. From here you can see the inlet going into Flushing, I guess. And that one in the middle there is the bane of my life, the Helford River. And I'm guessing over there is Mornan, M-A-W-N-A-N. Sorry it's not any clearer, I can't see any better either. It all just blends into one grey, didn't it? And let's just push on. Uh, everybody who started watching this hopefully some uh, will know that I've uh, started slowing down because I want to enjoy the journey a lot more I found the first 10 days was up, march, bed up, march and I wasn't enjoying it so very much so I slowed it down I'm on the way to Flushing and unfortunately to get across or around I've actually managed to do uh, the Helford River I'm on a bit of a time frame, which I was doing nicely, but it's a detour inland. So instead of just following the uh, river inlet going into Flushing, I've come down this far and I'm not sure how far this detours. The last time I had a detour inland was on the second day from Porlock Weir through to Linton, and that ended up being seven and a half miles inland before I joined the path again. So. I can't see it being that long, but you know, it's going through my head. Apologies for the last clip. I'm going for the award of most boring footage ever on the South Southwest Coastal Path. I think I've nailed it. Went off a little bit further and then turns back. Basically, it's gone up and you're backtracking on yourself now down this little path. So, let's we'll see how we go. Nope, oh, you're not going to stop me. <laughs> Seems like everything's getting chucked at me. <laughs> Look at Gillen, G I W -L, L A N. Definitely peaceful, just coming into the estuary a little bit, the wind and everything. Hmm. Unfortunately, because it's still March, your options are uh, at Flushing to get a little ferry across, or I think you can walk across at low tide. But I've got neither of those options, so I've got to take the uh, inland detour. Not sure how much it adds, about a mile and a half maybe, but it's all road work and it's going uphill. And I'm on a time frame. <laughs> I've gone across, across a couple of fields, but unfortunately it's more road walking. Yeah. And more road walking. Road walking even. I used to get to these little uh, hamlets, pretty little cottages. Look at that. That's nice. Yeah. Uh, where are we up to? Uh, another mile to St Anthony. Walking up to the end of uh, Flushing Estuary, as you turn around and come back on yourself. There's two signs, one for Anthony, which is Anthony the whatever it is on the hill. Menage is right. And there's another one for Helford, a mile and a quarter. I need to be at Helford. But I can't do it. I've got to go out to the Anthony, haven't I? I sometimes want to kick my own backside. I don't know, my feet are screaming at me now. Because I've tried to blaze this journey, but <clears throat> That's what it's about. It'll be what it'll be. So we just come down the road the other side of these pretty houses at the end there. And then we're heading our way back up the estuary this way. Imagine your boat's pretty safe out there, parked out there. You're not going to get anywhere near it, are you? I mad that mud is pretty deep. We're on, the other, we're on the other side of the estuary from that pretty little cove now. Don't zoom in, but I don't think you'll be able to see it very much. But then, knowing that 
just down here but it's low tide I could have crossed some stepping stones and I've had to walk the two and a half mile round on this road it's just one of those things I know but it does get in your head my feet are throbbing from yesterday's punishment so I just need to keep pushing it out of my head and get on looking at the Houston River again I thought it was clearing at one stage but it seems to be fogging over again or clouding one of the two After passing um, St Anthony and Menage and I think going around Little Dennis Head I believe on the final uh, stretch into Helford you're literally walking for little bits of woodland which is quite nice because you get it out of the wind. You can get glimpses of the estuary but not very much and because of the like the fog and the I don't know the just general greyness in the sky you can't really see much but it's a weird day, a weird, weird day from Portholo when you cut down just before it, you go inland and you're walking on the road. I've had to walk some more road um, coming around the estuary of the Flushings. So it's just odd. I know it has to be done, but it's just one of those weird days. It's just uh, some day you're walking there with a sea breeze in your face up and down alongside the cliffs and the cliff tops. Other days you're just not. Another little cove. Don't get me wrong, this can't be a hundred meters across. But something of interest for today. And there's the Hillford River that we're trying to get across. I'm here, I'm here and I need to be over there, I don't think I can swim that, and there's the estuary going back, I think it's about 13 miles all the way in and all the way back out again. up of that side in for the pretty little bit of the bottom and back up this road path here mm -hmm. last little look at all these lovely white houses the pretty Helford Thank you. 